This video is one in a series of three that talks about percent concentration. In this video, we're going to talk about mass, mass, percent. So in this one, we're looking at mass, mass, percent, which I see is talking about grams of my solute and grams of my solvent. And so what I have is looking at this relationship, I can determine what the mass percent is if I know the grams of each of those substances. Now, I also will be able to use this to get back to some ratio by knowing what I've got in the mass. If I have 10% KCl by mass, I can also reverse that and write 10 grams of KCl in 100 grams of solution. So just like we've done with other units of concentration, we can use this mass relationship or this mass percent concentration as a relationship in our calculations. So the best way to learn how to use mass percent is to see it in an example. So let's do that now. So now I want to calculate the mass percentage of this solution. And so it tells me it's prepared from 15 grams of ethanol and 100 milliliters of acetone. So I look at the formula used to calculate mass percent. So I know percent, and I'm going to put m slash m to represent that it's the mass percent, equals my grams of my solute, my substance present in the smaller amount, over the grams of solution times 100 because it is a percent. Now remember that grams of solution is going to be equal to grams of solvent plus grams of solute. I've got to take both of those together. So I look at the information that's given and I see that I have grams of ethanol and ethanol is my solute because it's present in the smaller amount and I have a volume of acetone but I don't have the mass of it so I'm going to have to calculate that first. So I have a hundred milliliters of acetone and I'm going to use my density which is given 0 0.791 grams per milliliter for my density. Milliliters cancels with milliliters and I'm left with 79.1 grams of acetone. So now I can plug those into my original equation which was percent by mass equals grams of solute, which is my 15 grams of ethanol. And I'm going to divide that by the total volume of my solution, which will be the 15 grams plus 79.1 grams for my solution. Because remember, the solution includes both. And then I need to multiply that by 100. So now I have 15 divided by, and I'm using my parentheses to make sure I add those two numbers together in the denominator so that I'm doing the correct calculation, times 100, and I find that the percentage by mass equals 15.9%. And sometimes you'll see it as mass mass, sometimes it will be written out as by mass, Either one means exactly the same thing. Now I know that for every 100 grams of solution, okay, it contains 15.9 grams of ethanol. So then this can be a relationship that I use in another calculation.